Do you want to know how to make money on Twitch as a small streamer? Even? Well, then you've come to the right place. I'm Erin. I'm a variety streamer with a love for nostalgic games. Shout out to my original name, Bad Graphics Girl 2003. I started in April 2020, and now it is June 8th, 2023, when I'm filming this. And I have made thousands of dollars. Now, does that mean I'm living large? Not yet, but I have made thousands of dollars through different ways. So I am here to show you all of those different ways. It's not just through gifted subs. First up, if you are just starting to stream on Twitch, you want to get to an affiliate level. When I first started streaming on Twitch, I didn't even know what Twitch was. I just wanted to play Barbie Secret Agent for everybody during lockdown. I really started from nothing to learn about what the platform was. The main parts to becoming an affiliate, three average viewers and 50 followers. I think Twitch, to give them credit, it's very accessible, but that doesn't mean it's always easy. For me, it was during the pandemic and I told everyone. So that is my number one tip. Tell everyone in your life. <laughs> I mean, don't bombard them, but post it on any social medias you might already have. In this day and age, I would say, absolutely post on TikTok. TikTok or whatever short form, video service that you wanna do and then add a hashtag. Tell someone close in your life to maybe put your stream up in the background. I started by playing Nancy Drew games and that community, I'm so grateful for them. That's really like what made my channel gain some traction because the community itself is such diehard fans. Find a game that has some diehard fans, a great fandom to work off of. Maybe don't choose the game that every single person is playing because you'll be pushed all the way to the bottom. I think that's the sweet spot. Having said all of this, that is the way that you first are able to earn money technically from Twitch. Now, what if affiliate is taking too long? What do you do? So when you are not an affiliate yet, and when you are, set up some kind of way to tip you. Whatever you decide to do, I use Ko-Fi. Let's take a look at my Ko-Fi page. Um, see, I put all of my graphics up here, so it just makes the page look nice. You can have a goal. Right now, mine is cosplay as Zelda, <laughs> and on my sub goal on my stream, it's cosplay as Link. Because I've been playing a lot of Zelda games recently with the new Tears of the Kingdom. People can donate to you here. You can put a little overview of your channel. Always if you can have some kind of incentive. I went to school for musical theater, so if you send over $5 on Ko-Fi, then I'll sing a song for you on the stream. I also have, if you send $5, I can read a page from my novel that I wrote in fourth grade. Whatever you have that makes you unique that you could think of, even let's say you don't have a special talent, but you have a ridiculous costume. As I speak, I have a horse head in my closet and I have a shark costume. So $5 and I'll put on a shark costume. Especially when I first started these song commission things, I saw a really big spike in my tips. It is possible to even make money on Twitch without being an affiliate. The basics, once you get to reach affiliate of how you make money on Twitch, we have subs. Twitch takes 50% of sub revenue. Subs are really important for your channel. You have your emotes that you can upload. Here are all of mine. I have, so you have follower emotes, which are free, which is great. If people pay for your subscription, they can get access to, these go up with time. I believe you have to unlock certain things to get more and more emote slots. So you've got subs, you have bits. One bit equals one cent. So if somebody gives you a hundred bits, you get a dollar. We'll get into bit extensions, but that's just for if somebody is sending you a bit right through Twitch. So let's see, bits, subscriptions. I forgot ads, but big whoop, they're not gonna help you financially. Please play them as little as possible. This next website that I use isn't necessarily just, you're gonna see money in your account, but it could certainly save you quite a lot. The microphone that I'm talking on right now is thanks to this website and that is Throne. I have nothing but great things to say about Throne. All of your information is kept private. Your viewers are able to send you things on your wish list, even things that aren't on your wish list, they can suggest. But if you create a wish list for yourself of things that you want, PC parts, microphones, cameras, webcams, and then even like little stuff, which I definitely recommend 
putting a whole variety of things on there. Let me show you. This is my about me section. We're gonna click on my wish list. Okay, so you could view it right here, which is nice, but let's go on throne. Right now, it's like a mixture of things that I put on there and things that people suggested for me. So I've been playing a lot of Zelda. I put that up here, like a little Twilight Princess outfit, which I will be playing Twilight Princess. One of my viewers just redeemed it as a channel point redemption and Ocarina because Zelda. Hawaiian shirt because I have a whole um, religion to a character on an Nancy Drew game, Big Island Mike. I have something as ridiculous as a MacBook. Don't feel any shame in that. You never know. So put it up there and you can add crowdfunding so multiple people can contribute to this goal. So you got your wish list. Throne also has a storefront. I haven't really set mine up yet because I'm waiting to see if I've been approved. You have to submit for it. I set up my Amazon storefront though. So on here, here's my storefront, Amazon storefront. I really do recommend Throne. Maybe I can make a separate video once I get approved, hopefully. Throne, you just have access to so many other different approved websites. An Amazon storefront obviously is just Amazon. Here's my storefront. This. A great idea for streamers is put your whole streaming setup on a storefront. So. Maybe you don't have the best streaming setup right now and that is fine, but if you get to a point where you do have it, here is all the stuff I use. If somebody chooses to purchase from this link, you earn a small commission. Next up, oh my God, this is one of my favorites. It's just like such a fun treat. <laughs> and that is treat stream. This is really awesome because people can give you a meal. Think about how special that is for a viewer to see that they have given you dinner tonight rather than sending 20 bucks. It's just a really fun way. I find that people have a lot of fun with it. You might be thinking, people are gonna send me food, they're gonna see my address. TreatStream has that all figured out for you. It's completely safe and people can send you your favorite meals. They won't even see where they're sending it from also. I put like my favorite meals on there from my little places and nobody knows. So let's go over to my Twitch page once again so you can see, send food. I am forever grateful. Let's go to my treat stream page. Uh, okay, I'm not currently live, so it's not gonna show if you're not live. Okay, this is my treat page. This is all that people see. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just realizing that Duncan is $23, but so is General Sauce Chicken. Make it make sense. I don't know, Grubhub, but basically you do all of this through Grubhub. When you are adding a treat, you're gonna pretend like you're about to order. And then you're going to add the treat stream extension and then it adds it through that like right when you're about to check out so if it leads you to that it's not gonna have you pay or anything i have a chicken sandwich with diet coke i am famously obsessed with diet coke i even have a shirt that says never stand between a woman and her diet coke so it's gone very far and i got that off of throne new breakfast burrito just in case like, then someone can send you a message. There's alerts built into it. Everything that I've talked about so far has had alerts built in. Having alerts built in is even more of a way of people to really feel like they are acknowledged and appreciated. And it's really exciting. Next, something that I recently got into, and I think it's been extremely beneficial so far, are sound alerts. Sound alerts are a way for people to play a sound on your stream by sending bits. You could send bits, you could send channel points. Right now I have a little bit of both because remember that not everybody has the money for bits. So by doing a little mixture, it's really nice for your community and it kind of makes them feel like they're pulling the strings behind the scenes a little bit as well. I will show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. Here's what people see. Um, I have plenty more than this. So you could go through it by clicking these arrows. Leroy Jenkins, troll -la, 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 la good times. I have a lot that I also have created myself. Like I got this weird voicemail. Do not call this number anymore. I'm tired of you people calling. It's all you are is a scam. Now don't call this number again. I should call the state police. Let them deal with you. One that I think is really good that I just added, text to speech. So then people can get their messages read out loud. Already filters profanities for you if you're concerned about that. That has been a really fun one. And I think that it's good to do like a dollar for that. I would say if it's going to like be that customized and playing on your stream, make it a hundred bits. Oh, let's see over the course of a year. Wait, hold on a second. 
Wow, okay, I've made $303 off of sound alerts. Now I will say, because this is an extension and it's not just bits directly, you receive 80%, so they take out 20%. Regardless, I think it's worth it because this is money that I would not have gotten if it wasn't for this because people like some people even have their own signature sounds at this point that they've created for themselves. Stream Elements sponsorships. I have made about $500 from this and that is because I did the HelloFresh option. It is no longer available. I check constantly what they are offering on the Stream Elements sponsorships. It's usually games that I'm not gonna play on my stream, but it might be worth it starting out. I made $500 that I would not have made because five people signed up for HelloFresh. Right here, you are going to see revenue, sponsorships, and it will have all these campaigns for the ones that aren't gaming related, because there was Factor 75, and if I had done it, I probably would have made a similar amount or at least a hundred. Just keep looking for things that aren't necessarily games. I don't have any experience with playing any of these games, but you do have the ability to earn quite a bit. Make sure, so once you do view campaign or you sign up for it, gives you all of the criteria that you need, kind of walks you through how to set it up. Keep an eye on it. The games, I don't really know, but it could work for you. Kind of going off of that, if somebody signs up, you get a commission, will be affiliate links. As a small streamer, there are certain brands that will reach out to you. I have been working with and promoting Javi for a long time now. I'm really loving their protein coffee. I still have my link. You can find it in my description. Do a little command in Nightbot if you have any kind of bot for your channel, which is a whole other video. There's so much to learn about streaming, honestly. I have like exclamation mark Javi, and then I have a little description. I have my link. And that is a great way. Commissions, it's not much, but if a brand reaches out to you and you like their product, why not? See this shirt? You want it? Well, you can get it if you just check out my merch shop. Merch, lots of options for merch. I use Spreadshop for my merch. I think they have amazing products that other sites don't necessarily have, but here's the thing. If you just have maybe like one design, I think it's nice to have those purchases integrated into an alert on your stream. Spreadshop does not have that. I've already reached out, just been like, are you guys gonna make anything? I don't know if they ever will. Maybe somebody on the internet has made some kind of alert for your channel, because I just think it's so nice. Like I even know it from my experience, I used to watch this one streamer and I saw people buying her merch. I wanted recognition. I bought a hoodie just to see my name pop up. For my merch shop, I try to do a lot of like, I had a winter themed selection. We're coming out with a summer collection. If you have the funds, if this is a whole other thing, but I pay somebody else. Hat Dog Designs has been making my art for my channel since I started, since I became an affiliate. Oh my God, Hat Dog Designs, shout out. I will link his information in my description as well. Let's take a look at my merch shop. We're gonna click merch store. Welcome to Aaron Casey Gamers Merch Shop. I also think Spread Shop has a very nice little layout. Um, so again, I have my banner that I have on my Twitch channel and kind of consistent for everywhere. Like seriously, the amount that they offer, aprons, mugs, all different kinds of hoodies. I think that the quality has been amazing so far. You earn a commission from this and you don't have to worry about any of the production because I know that I was not gonna be making a merch shop in my little bedroom in NYC. You don't have to invest anything. You literally just upload a picture that is specific to your channel. The word slay. Men's premium t-shirt, $19, I get $7. For this, I don't even care like what my cut is. The fact that I am making a cut on something where I literally just had to upload a design, it works for me. Some are half, some are a little less than half. Overall, great option to have merch for your channel. Merch shop. Next up, Patreon. I just started a Patreon. So I am new to the Patreon world. I'm gonna show you my tiers and everything. You should make sure that this is worth it for your patrons. I have been just thinking and thinking what I can offer. So here are my tiers right now. General support VOD access. 
I have VODs all the way back from 2020, never before seen. I've just had them sitting in YouTube unlisted or private. You could go as low as $1 a month. Patreon recommends three, so that's where I started it, but then I just bumped it down to two. I wanted to give an option for someone who wants to support me, but doesn't have a ton to spend on a monthly subscription. Dedicate your time make this worth it. I have all my Twitch VODs. I'm doing a monthly gaming and movie night coming up this Sunday. Decided that I'm going to put a lot of polls on there, behind the scenes content. That's what the middle tier is. The reason that this super sassy trash panda is so expensive, like why is it $20? It's because you get new merch every three months. So Patreon has an option where you can have merch from their merch shop. So not only can you have your own merch shop, but you could have merch from their merch shop and it will be exclusive to only your Patreon members, your patrons. I have this little advertisement that I did when I was three years old. New foil, foil, now that's the movie called 911. No. And I created a t-shirt that says foil, now that's the stuff. Their merch selection, I will say, not as customizable as spread shop, spread shop you really can get into it change the sizing for patreon it's really just you upload and then it's there one month of that payment is going to go to the shipping and processing of the t-shirts so that's why that should be a little bit higher if you're going to do the merch i'm also giving 11 percent of my earnings i believe to patreon because i have this merch membership but for me i wanted a really enticing grab, a reason to go to the highest tier. So I think it's really gonna be worth it in the end. I think the moral of the story for a lot of these things is you do gotta invest a little bit. Like I said, I pay for a lot of the art that I get. So many games that I've paid for, equipment that I've paid for. Luckily though, like my PC, like how, how I raise money for my PC. Okay, this is perfect. So segue, a lot of this is investment. And when you invest, I really believe you will be rewarded for that. Of course, be smart with it. Please don't invest crazy amounts that you don't have. But just think about, okay, if I bought a meal out, it'd be 20 bucks. So maybe I can dedicate 20 bucks to a themed stream that I'm going to do. This is something that I love to do. I love to do theme weeks. I had a week called Horse Week where I played only horse games. I threw up some like horse heads uh, or my community actually put it on my throne. They bought me costumes. That's something that could happen. But also I purchased like horse tattoos, things to eat that horses eat. I went to Party City and I got like a horseshoe and I put it back there. I got balloons, just incentives. Let's say somebody gifts a sub. If you gift a sub, you will get your name on a horse themed balloon or you'll spin the wheel and one of the options will be that I put on a horse tattoo. It makes it just fun for everyone. Your community is having a blast supporting you but also making you do crazy stuff. The goal at the end of horse week was that I would go IRL horseback riding. We hit that goal. I did an IRL horseback riding vlog. After that, I had a goal to make a Luigi Build-A-Bear. We hit that goal. I made a Build-A-Bear vlog. Invest what you can. You will be rewarded for it. If you don't want to do a theme week, at least have a goal. I always have sub goal. Like right now I have my cosplay sub goals. You could have a donation goal. Like I said before, I would say for your goals, have an incentive. I will do this if we hit this goal by this amount of time. And I feel like my last kind of thing that we can make a whole other video about is just branch out to different platforms. Twitch is great, but as you probably heard, if you looked at any tips and tricks video for Twitch, it's not always the best way to make money. So I am currently building up my YouTube channel because you can make money by people watching the video rather than out of the kindness of their own hearts subscribing to you. If you can, maybe just start with like uploading your VODs, but um, if you can make standalone videos, if you can make maybe edited playthroughs, that's what I'm trying to do lately. Uh, anything that will help you get monetized on YouTube, I think is really beneficial because your community can support you just by watching your video. TikTok and Instagram really help bring people to your platforms. So I can't believe I just made that video. I really hope that you take some of these things into consideration. Maybe you didn't know about some of them. I know that it took me many years of experience on Twitch, but also studying and finding these videos to find these little ways to make money. 
whether you're doing this as a hobby or you're trying to build it up as your career, just like me. So we're in this together. Please let me know if you implement any of these strategies into your Twitch stream. Let me know if you have an idea that I didn't say. And let me know if you want me to dive deeper into any of these platforms, because I could do tutorials, I can speak more on a topic, I can go over my analytics on how much I've really made on each of these things. Subscribe to this channel. You can subscribe to my vlog channel if you would like some IRL NYC content. Follow my Twitch. I'm Erin Casey Gamers on pretty much everything. Erin Gamers for my vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching if you're here at the end. Good luck gamers. Good luck live streamers. And I will see you next time. Bye.